It's no wonder why over three million people visit the site of Mont Saint-Michel each year, or Mount Saint-Michel. It has become an iconic site in France, only second to the Eiffel Tower. In its 1300 years, it has gone through many changes. First, it was built as an abbey. It then became fortified, and finally it became a prison. In seven, in, sorry, <laughs> um, its physical structure alone is very mystical. Mont Saint-Michel is built on what is called an islet, which is kind of like an island, and it's built um, on granite. And so whenever the water comes in, um, the granite doesn't recede, or doesn't um, die away, so it will always be that shape forever. And when the tide comes in, it becomes its own island, and this one small land strip connecting it to the mainland disappears. In 709, Saint Aubert, a bishop, had a dream that Saint Michael came to him and asked him to build a church on this structure, on this islet. He refused many times, but he finally agreed to after supposedly the um, archangel Michael burned a hole in his skull. And so in 709, the abbey was, began to be built. In the eighth century, um, and this is what it looks like, um, you can kind of see the water kind of receded. In the eighth century, it became a very popular pilgrimage site. The land strip that I described before um, became, refer or became to be known as the Path to Paradise for the, pil for the pilgrims who want to seek, um, uh, sorry, um, judgment <coughs> by St. Michael. In 1337, the Hundred Years' War began and was fought between France and Britain. Many donations were made to the site to fortify it, to protect this very popular um, pilgrimage site. For 30 years, the British tried to seize it, or were unable to. One story that I found while researching was that um, the British paid one of the, pi the pilgrims living within the walls to drop down a rope one night so they could climb up and, see and try and seize it. After receiving his pay, he went to the monks and told him what was going to happen, and they came up with a plan. Plan was to go and drop the rope as planned, but as one by one as the soldiers went up, they would be killed. <laughs> and so the, sea, the, the attempted seize was, was failed. And this proved to the um, French that it was guarded by St. Michael. Um, during the French Revolution, starting in 1789, the site began to lose pilgrims because people were afraid to travel during the war. There are also so few monks left that it closed down and became a prison in, in the beginning of the war. This is the, what it looks like from when inside one of the prisons. After fighting for 10 years, the French, the French Revolution finally came to an end. In 1874, after many years of debate by many artists who had visited the site and fell in love with its beauty, became a histor historical monument in 1874. This began the, um, thus began the restoration of the entire site. From being an abbey to a fortress to a prison, no matter what the needs of France were, it was always willing to change and become part of the French culture over time. Thank you.